News 9. The new technology revolutionizing how News 9 keeps you and your family safe during severe weather. When it comes to tracking severe weather, we've had so many firsts here in Oklahoma. We were the first television station in the world to use a Doppler radar, the first to do storm tracks on the screen, and the first to bring you street scope technology. And now our chief meteorologist, David Payne, traveled to Huntsville, Alabama to find the latest cutting-edge technology that will really revolutionize how we keep you safe during severe weather. Kelly and Amanda, this is just the latest tool in our arsenal to protect Oklahomans. Tonight, I'm excited to bring you our Next Gen Live radar. How do you go up against something like Oklahoma weather that can change in an instant? Well, you've got to outthink Mother Nature. You have to get something that's even faster. We have searched and we have found the most powerful radar in the world. Do you think it's the best life-saving tool out there as far as a weather radar? We certainly do. I mean, we're very proud of what we've developed, and we wouldn't develop something that we didn't think was the best. It's going to be a 1 million watt dual pole radar. The only wiring is for power. Wow, it's beautiful. The accuracy of this system will be second to none. This radar sends out two beams of energy, one in the horizontal and one in the vertical at the same time. What that enables us to do is see inside storms like we've never been able to see before. In the past, you've been running a radar that's 250 kilowatts. The radar that you're receiving is one megawatt, so four times the power. This is kind of the brain. So that's what you're seeing here. This is where we generate the high output power. We can see see farther out, you see more detail uh, when you're shooting through things like hail and wind and rain. The weather is a 3D element, you can show it in the system as a 3D element. The precision, the accuracy, the resolution, it's unprecedented. The resolution of our old radar was about one half square mile, which is actually pretty good. But our new Next Gen Live radar can see any weather, dangerous or not, as small as the size of a football field. Well, as it is today, all the other television stations in Oklahoma use the National Weather Service dual pole radar. And that data, that radar data, can be anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes behind. If you have a storm moving at 60 miles per hour, that's a mile a minute. Ours is instant. Ours is live radar data. There's no delay. That's the important thing for the viewers. They want to know when it's getting to my house. Our radar that we've had for, for many years now, it's been a great radar. But the technology has advanced now to this next level. It's almost like going from black and white TV to your 70-inch HD flat screen on the wall. And we're doing that overnight. The value that this is going to give uh, the viewers at home it's going to be life-saving. Wow. I'll tell you, uh, tomorrow, all day on News 9, by the way, we're going to take you inside the dome and show you what's going on in there. I mean, next gen, this radar, the speed is what impressed me when you gave us a little yeah. sample of it a couple of weeks back. And right. it was on the money with the timing and, and the way the storms moved was very clear. Mm -hmm. Right. And, uh, you know, we had our, our last radar. It was a live radar. And uh, it was fast, but uh, not as fast as this. Right. It has a supercomputer inside the Ray Dome itself. It actually has two. And uh, all the data is processed there, unlike another location near the building or in the building. Uh, so there's no delay. And, uh, you know, it's all about the power. It's, the, it's really the most powerful commercial weather radar in Oklahoma. Uh, it's the, the strongest. The resolution, like we said, uh, down to the size of a football field. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. And the, the the speed and the accuracy. People at home will notice a huge difference. We can tell you all this. We can't, you know, jump up and down. But when you watch during severe weather or any weather, the resolution of where that signature is, where that tornado is, or the wind, the hail, uh, it will be so clear and so evident. We've already seen some things the last couple of weeks where I've been like, hey, check that out. Yeah. Because um, it's nothing that we've ever been able to view before. Uh, looking at rain or looking you at storms. Aircraft on yeah, the right now there's we, we can watch planes fly around. Oh, I know it's amazing. It's crazy. One well, thing I noticed too, David, was it kind of takes the guesswork out of it. Uh, for instance, like when it right. comes down to, is that snow? Is that hail? What is that? Right. You we, know. Yeah, with the old radar, uh, we would take temperature plots from the surface, and that would be incorporated into the the radar itself and tell you where it's it's rain and snow. That's what everybody else uses, which is not bad. 
there's no guesswork anymore, like you said. This tells us exactly where it's raining, where it's snowing, on the ground, okay, from the radar, from this radar, from Next Gen Live, it tells you where there's hail exactly and where it's rain, how large the hail is, where the hail is, um, and the velocity data, looking at wind speeds down to the size of a football field. I can zoom into, again, the size of a football field and see a complete donut that, hole that's, that's or a, an area of circulation. That's incredible. So, it's going to be amazing. And when we were watching those storms a couple of weeks ago, in the, on the old radar, it would lurch. Right. It would move like this because the data was coming in in pieces. Yes. And this, on your new radar, it was just kind of gliding right. across the screen. Right, and our old radar, like everybody else in town, updates about every minute, okay? This radar is uh, 15 seconds or less, okay? Wow. It's incredible. And it's you're gonna, absolutely you're gonna incredible. And you're going to be on News 9 tomorrow morning. I am. I'll be up here at, uh, I don't know, 5, 6 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be talking about this again. We might bring you in earlier that. You'll be on the stand and Lacey and Jed <laughs> and talking about really how this radar will be used in every season yeah oh no it's yeah. it's going to be a great winter product uh, a flooding product severe weather and and we can track planes so it, 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 it does really just about exciting. everything it is okay there it is there's a new logo get used to it it's called next gen live the most powerful dual pole commercial radar on the planet okay we were one of three tv stations uh to spend the last year and a half putting this all together and purchasing this radar one of three that have just been deployed the last uh, month or so and again that is big time so yes get used to that next gen live this is faster than again any other tv station in the state and uh, you'll see it live right here on news nine whatever the weather is whether it's threatening or not get used to that okay and that's what you'll be seeing a lot of coming up this winter and uh, coming up as early as tomorrow we're going to be tracking rain tomorrow on next gen live what's going on right now well, Next Gen Live, it is cranked up a million watts of dual power energy. Nothing. It's quiet, all right? But I want to point out, see the little dots moving around? Yep, those are airplanes inbound and outbound out of Tinker Air Force Base and also flying into and out of Will Rogers. All right, so pretty cool stuff tonight. That's some of the high resolution that I'm talking about that we can see from Next Gen live i have goof, goosebumps seriously talking about it so it's it's big time here in oklahoma city it's quiet from our air comfort sky cam network looking at downtown 42 degrees with a light south wind now at about six miles per hour temperatures we have 30s in the northwest and our panhandle a little cool front now just north of the metro from oklahoma city south it is warmer 42 again in the oklahoma city area we are cooling off and uh get ready it's going to become active we're still talking about bitterly cold arctic air and we're talking about rain though rain before that so here we go storm systems they're lined up we have our weekend storm that will give us some rain yes rain late tomorrow tomorrow night into saturday saturday will be wet cloudy and raw high saturday in the 40s no severe weather a little bit of snow on our panhandle monday storm might give us another quick shot of rain on monday and then the big storm comes in late tuesday and wednesday of next week polar jet diving south arctic blast and this will be the coldest air mass uh, we've had into Oklahoma since last winter. And this is going to hang around several days. It'll move in, it'll set up shop, and it'll plant here for several days next week. And maybe with that, a little bit of snow. Short term, watch what happens tomorrow. Look at the cloud cover. Boom, here we go. Rain and, yes, snow develops in the panhandle. Rain into western Oklahoma tomorrow afternoon. Then for the rest of us, tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, rain into your Saturday. Lots of snow falling in the Texas panhandle. Several inches of snow there. And there's Saturday, folks. It's wet, it's cloudy, it's raw, it's ugly. All right, so how much rain? Well, about a quarter to a half an inch, all right, from I-40 south. But some areas in southern and southwestern Oklahoma, nearly an inch. That's great news. And about an inch or so out in the panhandle of snow. And maybe some rain and snow mixed in the northwest. All right, lows tonight, 20s, 30s, 40s down south. Highs tomorrow, 50s, 60s in the southeast, low 50s in the west, 40s in the northwest. And for tomorrow afternoon, pretty good chance of light rain in southwestern Oklahoma. Tomorrow evening, that rain will spread north and east. Good chance of rain late tomorrow evening in Oklahoma City. A little bit of snow in the northwest in our panhandle. Saturday's highs, these are 40s. Those are the highs. Chance of rain Saturday, nearly at 100%. Okay, 90 forecast, 56, there it is for the high tomorrow, 80% chance of rain tomorrow evening, 90% chance of rain on Saturday, Sunday will be dry, high of 50, Monday high of 49, so some showers around on Monday, we get a break Tuesday, and here comes the Arctic air, Tuesday night, highs near freezing on Wednesday, 
not even freezing on Thursday right now in lows next week in the teens. That is pipe bursting weather by Thursday and Friday morning of next week. And we will have a quick shot of probably some light snow in here coming up into Wednesday of next week. Maybe a small snowman. Going to be cranking up next gen live next tomorrow. Next gen's ready. For sure.